today I'm back with another mega unboxing and review for you all. Today I'm going to be showing you all the brand new 4K release of The Lost Boys. And I found it. And this one is from Warner Brothers. So I'm going to open this one up, show you all what the discs look like on the inside. Also let you know what special features you can expect to find on the Blu-ray. Plus give you my overall thoughts on the 4K visual and audio presentation with this disc. Plus just a quick little review of the movie. And ultimately my recommendation on if this one is worth your money. So let's get right into it. Let's look at that front slip cover here. Now when I first pre-ordered this one. When I saw the images, I was kind of disappointed with the design they went with. I thought this was going to look terrible in person, but when I got it in person, it wasn't terrible. It was just about average. I thought they could have done a lot better with picking a different scene to focus on from the movie. I don't know why they went with this scene. When I watched the movie again, I didn't feel like it was a super iconic scene. Just thought they could have gone with something a little bit different. But for the scene itself, when I open this one up, I actually do like the color contrast here. The blue is actually very nice in person. It's very shiny and it does contrast with the moon quite well and the shadows of the vampires. So that looks really cool. Also, I do like the logo of the Lost Boys title. That font looks really cool. So it's decent, but once again, I would have just gone with an entirely different scene. So it just turns out to be kind of average for a slipcover, but it is definitely a lot better than Poltergeist, in my opinion, just for slipcover artwork. But let's take a look at the spine real quick. So the spine, you got the Lost Boys right there in the red font. Not the best spine, not the worst spine. Once again, kind of average, but the red does make it stick out just a little bit. And then let's take a look at the back. On the back, of course, we got the synopsis there and got that cool image of one of the vampires. But you got your list of special features there. Now, there are a decent amount of special features with this release, definitely a lot more than Poltergeist. But the unfortunate thing, once again, is because it is a studio release. It's a Warner Brothers release release there's no new special features so there are substantial amount of special features but looks like they were all ported over from the dvd of this release so nothing new for the 4k which is a little bit of a shame i would have liked to see something new but hey for what they had they were actually pretty decent. You got the director talking about the movie, producer, you got some of the actors, like the two Corey actors talking about their time on the movie. So that was all really fun and interesting. So I really like having those perspectives. Once again, that's why these special features to me were a lot better than the Poltergeist special features, because you actually get some good perspective from the people involved in the movie. So that was fantastic. Just wish they had some new ones in there. Now, in terms of the 4K presentation with this one, you're only getting the DTS 5.1 master audio. So you're not getting Dolby Atmos for the sound, unfortunately. And this movie actually does have a really good soundtrack. I was surprised when watching it again. That was something I did notice. I'm like, you know what? I'm digging this music right now. I'm really having a fun time with it. And it is good with the DTS 5.1 surround, but you know, I always want that Dolby Atmos on a 4K disc. So I think that could have took it to the next level, but the sound wasn't terrible by any means. Now, in terms of presentation with the 4K with the HDR coloring, it looked fantastic. This movie looks so good with the 4K, a lot sharper, made the movie look a whole lot younger. I mean, especially with all the practical effects, with the designs, with the vampires and their eyes. I mean, everything just kind of shined through a lot more with this HDR coloring. I really liked it for that, some good 4K sharpness. So yeah, I think it was definitely a good upgrade to get it in that 4K quality. But let's take a look at the inside. Let's see if there's anything special on the inside, any warning signs with this one, or just let's look at the disc artwork too. All right, so expected for a studio release, no disc artwork, but at least they do two different colors for the disc. So at least you got the 4K's a red disc, then the Blu-ray's a uh, black disc. I know, I would have switched the colors with those, um, putting the 4K disc uh, 
black but hey at least they're different you can differentiate them that's the most important thing yeah i would have loved some cool artwork with these discs but at least once again the discs are different colors unlike poltergeist where they're the same color so this is already a better release than poltergeist in my opinion once again would have liked something else on the inside would have liked some really cool artwork on the case or on the disc but once again it's a studio release so you're not getting like a scream factory boutique treatment here so we got to live with that um but yeah at least better than poltergeist so far now in terms of the movie itself the lost boys i actually do really enjoy this one it might be my favorite vampire movie of all time that i'm gonna have to think a little bit more on but it is a really good movie it just gives you kind of that 90s nostalgia feel to it and it's a fun vampire movie it's not overly like gory or bloody it's not like a horror r rated movie no it's pg-13 it's like a teenage vampire movie so it's just a fun time it's an easy watching movie for spooky season all the vampire characters in here are really cool and i mean just all the actors are great in this movie especially like the two Corys. they are so funny in the movie so this movie actually has some comedy in here so you get a little bit of that uh horror comedy dynamic back and forth which is fun so this movie definitely knows how to have fun and I really like when it gets into like the final act and they're defending the house from the vampires and it's totally like Home Alone style and how they prepare and try to, you know, fight off the vampires. I think that's really cool. So I think it's a really strong ending act and the movie does pick up. I think the first 30 minutes is a little sh uh, slow, maybe 30 to 45 minutes. But when it picks up, it does get going and it's definitely a really fun time. And a lot of the family can watch this one once again because it's not a hard r rating or anything like that i believe it's pg-13 here so probably most most of the people in the family are going to be able to be just fine with this one but yeah it's a fun time you get a little twist in there towards the end uh with what's revealed so yeah really good movie overall if you haven't seen the lost boys perfect movie to check out for a spooky season especially if you're into vampires i mean this is one of the best vampire movies out there like i said it might actually be my favorite vampire movie even though i haven't seen a whole lot of vampire movies but this one just has a cool style about it i mean these vampires are definitely just really cool in how they look and the effects i mean all the makeup work with them i mean is awesome with their eyes especially really really cool great fun entertaining movie definitely and must watch now in terms of actually buying this though on the 4k studio release can i absolutely recommend this one no probably not at the price it is right now you know over 20 bucks uh, i wouldn't go with that you know first day price pickup i'd probably wait you know wait a month or so wait after october i'm sure this one is going to drop in price probably still will be available because it's a studio release remember it's not a boutique release so it's not limited there so i'm sure you're still going to be able to get this one after october and i'm sure it's going to drop in price and once it gets to like that 20 buck under 20 buck range you know 17 15 bucks at that point definitely a no-brainer because the 4k upgrade does look very nice uh, but once again it's just lacking a few things there no new special features no dolby atmos no special artwork in there so like i said because it's not the most collectible physical media out there you can probably hold off, wait for this one to drop in price, but still check out this movie if you haven't seen it. I'm telling you, it is a fun watch. But let me know in the comments below, have you seen The Lost Boys and what did you think of it? Is it one of your favorite vampire movies? of all time and also give out some other vampire recommendations because i need to expand my vampire collection i haven't seen too many vampire movies so leave me some recommendations down below and then that way we can have fun talking movies together as a community and if you're visiting the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this awesome league of mega film fans, make sure you subscribe right now. That way you stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Be one of us. And if you enjoy this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Also like the video. And this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.